Preparing for a final exam is no easy task. Surely you have dozens of notes spread between books, notebooks, and posters. Taking notes is always a wise choice, but even for the tidiest person, shifting through all those notes will only hinder your learning process. Welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Mario, and in this video, I'm gonna show you seven ways in which you can use PDF Element to prepare for your final exams. The only thing that you will need for this video is an iPad, an Apple Pencil, and PDF Element. So if you have that, let's just get started. So these are seven ways of using PDF Element to prepare for your final exams. I am going to go one by one, showing you how easy it is to do all of this inside PDF Element. As always, make sure that you're running the most up-to-date version of PDF Element. You can find the latest version in the App Store. 1. Turn physical notes into PDFs Books are a crucial tool for any student and are often the starting point when it comes to studying. The main downside of book is that the only way of making your content easier to find and search is by using tab dividers. Fortunately, PDF Element has a feature that eliminates this problem forever. Converting your books to PDFs and using PDF Element to navigate these PDFs will make your books searchable and editable. So let me show you how to do this. You will first have to open PDF Element and click the plus button at the lower right corner of the screen. Then you will tap the scan button and you will be able to take pictures of your book. You can do this either by letting your iPad take the pictures automatically or you can manually take them yourself and then adjust the edges of the screen so that the text is inside of it. Once you're done with the scanning, you will see a preview of your PDF. And once you're happy with it, you can just hit save. Now you will see a PDF version of the pages that you just scanned, but let me tell you that we are not finished yet. These pages are not yet fully interactive. So you will tap the three dots at the upper right corner of the screen and you will then hit recognize. You will now select the option of OCR PDF, but before that, make sure that you're connected to the internet. Then you will choose the language that your element is written in and hit next so that PDF element starts the conversion. A notification will pop up at the top of your screen when the conversion is done and you will then be able to find your document in the downloads folder. And that's it, you can now edit the document and search for any words that are in it. Two, convert physical notes into digital text. Every good student takes notes in one way or another. Notes are often crucial when it comes to preparing for the final exam as they allow us to store the information that we were given in class for later access. With PDF Element, you can convert all of your handwritten notes into digital text so that it is easier to read, edit, and study. To turn your handwritten notes into digital text, you will first need to open the PDF Element app and click on the plus button and then hit scan. Once again, use the camera to take a picture and then adjust the edges of the image so that they fit the text. When you are ready, click save and PDF Element will make a PDF out of your scan. And once again, you will have to open the menu at the top right corner of the screen and hit recognize, but now you will select the text only option and then you will proceed to choose your language. So now all you have to do is to wait for PDF Element to extract your text from the PDF and it will create a .txt file in which you have the text and you can copy it to any place that you want and that's it magical right number three merge all of your notes into a single pdf now that you've turned your books and notes into digital documents now it's the time to get the most out of them with pdf element you can combine your books and notes into single documents so that you can have everything in one place to get on with your studying so here's how to do it. So let's start with the notes that you previously scanned. The first thing that you need to do is to open the .txt document that you generated earlier, select the content of the file, and then copy the text. Now open the PDF that you generated by scanning the pages of your book. In the tools menu, choose edit PDF to edit your document. Now simply touch the screen for a few seconds until you see the option to paste and do that and then you will be able to have your text in there and you can move it around and put it wherever it fits. On the other hand, if you want to add your text inside an already made paragraph that you previously scanned, you can just double tap on it and then just you know, go through it and hit paste once again and you will be able to get it inside of an already existing paragraph. Now that you have everything in the same place in the same PDF document, let me give you some tips on how to organize this PDF effectively. Number four, organize your notes. Oftentimes your notes will not be that organized as you take them in class in a very quick way, rushing through the lecture. So you may want to change the order of your pages 
later on uh, as you just rushed through the content at first and just made sure to put everything in the place then you can organize it and rearrange it so that it actually makes sense through pdf element this is actually really simple to do so open your pdf and tap the four square icon at the top right of the screen and you will get into a menu that lets you rearrange your pages so you can literally just hold one of them and basically it will lift and you can slide it and place it wherever you want and you can rearrange all your pages in whichever way you want and that'll be done so yeah quite easy right five use bookmarks just like with physical documents you may want to use bookmarks digitally so that it is easier for you to navigate through your pdf and find the exact thing that you're searching for you will not be surprised that PDF Element has this feature and you can do this in a matter of seconds. To add bookmarks with PDF Element, you will just have to open a PDF and hit the notepad icon at the top right of the screen and you will then be able to actually create a bookmark and you can then be at the start of the document, hit the bookmark and you will get to that specific page. 6. Make annotations. Making annotations is also a very useful tool. And just like with physical documents, this will let you add extra information, extra details that will make your studying better and help your understanding. So now I'm going to show you how easy and versatile it is to make annotations in your PDF files. So you will open your PDF and tap on the comment tool. There are several tools that you can use in order to make annotations. The first one is the highlight tool and this is the yellow box that has a highlighter inside of it, which makes sense. And all you have to do is to swipe through the text that you want to highlight. You can also underline the text of your PDF by clicking the icon with the uppercase A and lowercase A that have a line at the bottom. And once again, just swipe through the content and the underline will appear. There is also another way to highlight your text with a wavy line and once again just swipe through the text. Another very interesting tool is the pencil icon that lets you write with the Apple Pencil. You can also add sticky notes to a PDF and you can click on top of it and write the text that you want. You can change the color. Finally, PDF Element also allows you to add extra text so you can tap the icon with the T inside the square and you will be able to write your text. You can also click the circle next to the text icon to modify your text, your color, your font, um, the size, you have lots of things to do. Apart from that, you can also add a text box and you have loads of different colors to choose from. Seven, display annotations in the comments area. So for the last tip of today, this will allow you to visualize all your annotations in one place. This will make the editing or deleting of them way easier, saving you lots of time. So open your PDF and tap on the notepad icon at the top right of the screen. You then tap the message box icon and you will be able to see all your annotations right there in order so you can delete annotations directly from here by literally swiping left and hitting eliminate and you can literally get rid of those annotations that you don't want anymore and you can also use the clear button if you want to get rid of all of them just in case uh, you never know so i hope these tips help you in getting the most out of your notes and achieving the highest grades in your final exams if you found this video helpful leave a thumbs up and if you have any doubts or you think we missed something that you personally use for studying inside PDF Element, let us know in the comments down below and we will be glad to get back to you and to hear your thoughts. Also, consider subscribing and check out the many other videos that we have in this channel about how to manage your PDF files like a pro. Having said that, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.